What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're going to play some Abzan. I've been wanting to build an Abzan deck for quite a while, and I'm going to do that right now. Play four of this guy. Oh, yeah. Four Lotus Cobra. Three of those guys. I'm just going to play the best things that we got. And Mythos... Can we mutate? What are we mutating onto? This is an elf. This is a lotus cobra. Yeah, guys, we have four minutes in this raid. Can you guys make sure you place your units in the stream raiders? Can you guys carry your weight, please? This is being ridiculous right now. Um... Notice that return any number of target creatures with total power 10 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. It just seems so good. I'm going to keep playing Biolante until I can't anymore. That makes sense to me. It just, I mean, it makes sense. I also really like Auspicious Star X. Play two of those guys too. These are not really five drops. This guy's more of a seven drop. This guy's more of a two drop. Also tempted to just play a Yorion here. Uh, Triome. I do like a Gilded Goose for Mutateos. Unfortunately, we're already at 56 cards. That is a lot. Um, let's get rid of that. Let's bring this over. Look, Mono no hands. My mouse wheel stopped. Oh, Hagra Mauling. Bring in two of those guys. Two Amiria's Calls. Two Balagate Recoveries. And what kind of lands are we putting in here? We're a very heavy green, very light white. Four of those. Four of those. So both of these help with the white. I would say two temples. Suspicious Starks. This guy can next to my where says number of times this creature means you put this permanent card on the battlefield. Hmm. I don't think we care about this guy, I'll be honest with you. I think it's just too cute. Garrick, however. So those are lands. Those are lands. Sometimes it's really hard to move things in this client, right? Like I'm trying to move things, but like everything is on top of everything else. So I have to like kind of, oh, is this, is it hovering on top of this? I gotta click it and move it. Like I'm just trying to like move it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I, I don't think we care about field passage, even though we have a lotus card. Maybe we'll put like two, four, eight, ten. 19 at 25, 6, 7, 3, 7. This is actually 30. No way. This is not 30 mana sources, right? 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 19. Oh, it's 24 plus 6, so it actually is. That's pretty wild. Um, Take out two of these. Two of these. I do like one planes. So this would be 26. We can probably just cut one more planes. One more uh, forest, rather. 
Green sources is 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Black sources, we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 15, 14. White sources, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it's 15, 14, 14 right now. And this is 26 lands. Plus we have Cobra, Goose, and Visionary. Hmm... Definitely think about the 15 green. Might just be able to cut planes, to be honest. So this is 25 lands, which I'm comfortable with with Goose and Cobra. Um, what are we facing off against? Two of these. Hmm. We have Mythos, Heartless Act, and um, Hagra, which is two, three, and four mana, respectively. Oh, you know what I want to play? Um... Can I play two? No, I can't. It doesn't. It won't find. It won't find two one. Okay, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I want to play like three null priests. That seems cool. Reanimate Gargaroth, or Questing Beast, or a, a Biolante. And this is also just a five five with Death Touch and Life Link for five. Also, I like that there's so few humans now. Like, this is a vampire priest. This is a lotus. Vampire cleric, rather. This is a lotus. This is a lotus. This is a snake. This is an elf. This is a beast. So basically, you can mutate onto anything, which is kind of cool. And I feel like we should be taking more advantage of that. Do we have any ways to return land or hand? Return land. Is there any efficient way to return a land to your hand in this format? Like, that's not shitty. It does not look like it. Great horn? I don't even know what that is. Migratory Greathorn? Is that what you're referring to? Like, with only five basics, we don't really want cards that search for basics. I'd rather play like Cultivate. Um, I also wouldn't mind, like, a Gem Razor or two in the main deck. What can we cut for that? Because then we can, like, cast Biolante on two and then Gem Razor on the next turn, and it's pretty good. And by Gem Razor, I mean Anguirus, obviously. <laughs> Don't be silly. Um, I mean, there's a five drop, right? Like, this just goes in the five drop slot. There's a six drop, there's a seven drop, which looks a lot better. Hmm. And for lands, we have 25 plus four goose plus four cobra. Hmm. 
can cut one we can cut one questing beast just because it's legendary um i want to cut mythos i just think it's very versatile what are the decks we're playing against the black blue deck shuffle is there a card that shuffles my graveyard in my graveyard in my girl library shuffle graveyard library any of these things need to do that no okay Oh yeah, Arachnid's good. Arach... Yeah. Arachnir. Let's save this for now. I want to look at some of the cards in this to see if we can... Elspeth Conqueror's Death is nice. Maybe as a one of? Sideboard, it goes to rest. I think Extinction Event is probably fine. I do kind of like one Pelucranos. That's actually pretty sweet. Um, maybe we cut one Lanor Visionary. We can cut one Null Priest and one Land or Visionary. I think that's actually pretty fine. And these are lands. And this could be a three drop. These are kind of lands. These are kind of lands. So it looks more like this, the curve. I do like one Blue Grinos. It's kind of sweet. So we're going to say, you know, sand, mid range. Just need to work on the sideboard and then we can figure out how, how decent or terrible this is. What about two Baylos in the sideboard just for like the uh, control matchups? Hexproof and Campy Counter is pretty sweet. Hmm. What else is good? I like two more slots. Revenge of Ravens? Is that a thing? <laughs> Mike, you're being crazy right now. Hmm. Like, my biggest fear, I think, is the Yorion, like, as foretold deck. <sighs> but I also don't know how to necessarily beat that. It might just be Necromentia. I'll put in two Necromentias for like Doom Foretold or whatever. Well, we'll see how this fares. I'm gonna put this guy as the. Man, I, I always want to play with Biolante. It's just kind of like. I guess it's kind of like a pet card. I just think it has a really cool mutate ability that seems really, really powerful. I think Wilt is trash. I would play Broken Wings over Wilt like 99% of the time. 
I mean, if it cycles, like, the thing is, like, great, it's cycling is great, but, like, if I want the effect, like, I don't really care if it cycles. I'd rather just have the effect, you know? And being able to kill the flyers is also gives you good overlap against the rogues deck with, like, the 1-3 the guy. Yorion, specifically. <sighs> Solid. Yep, keep that. Put one forest back, I guess. So right now we have a three, a five, and a six, and this can be a that we can play this on four if we hit visionary and don't. Oh, we didn't even change our lands. God, I'm such a scrub. Okay, uh, that's pretty good. Yorion himself. Hmm. Maze Mind's Tome is sweet. Like, maybe we just make this a Yorion deck, you know? I don't know. Like, what's the... Is there a downside to that? We just get to add more cards, like Ugin and Maze Mind's Tome, more lands and things. Like, that just seems kind of sweet. Cobra, land. I think it's just more important to visionary here, to be honest. Maybe just so many lands because the client, because you always change them so the client thinks you want to look at them and gives you so many. Oh, God. That's like the best theory I could think of personally. I really don't have an argument for that. So we can go, we can play a three drop. Ooh, Biolante. So I guess we're just playing Lotus Cobra here. Unfortunately, nothing good here. I mean, here, hand is sweet. Garrick next turn seems good. So if we go up to 80 cards, we'd add 12 lands and, no, 8 lands and 12 spells. That'd be the equivalent of 2436. Mm -hmm. We could also play Treacherous Blessing, which is sweet. But then, like, are we just playing the same deck as yesterday without the blue? Not necessarily. We have Biolante. One, two, three, four, five, six. Unfortunately, we can't actually Biolante because he costs seven. Let us add a green for this guy. What are the odds they have Elspeth Conqueror's Death in hand? I think it's 100%. And that would exile this guy and we would have nothing to get back with Biolante. And that seems about 
that seems about where our luck is at. I have to go to bed. I have to get my son's head shaved in the morning for his EEG next week. Have a good night. Jimmy the Mole, have a good night, buddy. Hey, look, remember that time I said, what are the odds they have Elspeth Conqueror's death? And then that's the exact card they had in hand. That was cool. I remember. Remember that time we didn't have a second green? Because that's literally my experience with this format. It's so weird. There's just not enough dual lands. All Everything is like single. Temple and like the Triumphs are like the only lands that produce two colors at a time. pretty wild you're at 13 so I got a sack of cobra thank you sure I don't even care about your hair in your underwear <gasps> oh my god, Yoakum. Oh my god. It's been so long, my dude. That's amazing. Oh my god, Yoakum, I love you, buddy. Wow, I haven't seen you in ages. God, it's like seeing a family member that you haven't seen, you know? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? So if we hit a land, well, that's a land. What do we get back? We just get these two back? It's not even that exciting. Yoko, my dude, I hope you're doing wonderful, man. Oh, man, it's such a... I don't really watch any stream. I knew. I mean, I knew. In part, your Twitch is not playing nicely with my Chromecast setup. Yeah, you gotta you gotta stream it from your phone, which is really weird. play this guy and then you know sacrifice it on the next turn get rid of the goose I think we're still dead here there's something more frustrating to me than a standard from a edge I can't do what I want you know oh that doesn't help I've tried but your tweet popped up my feet so I decided to jump man that's amazing dude it's so good to see you buddy I think you might have wanted to mutate and put it underneath so you can get the other one back. Probably doesn't. Um, like, the reason we didn't do that is because, like, I'd rather just get more things back. Let me guess. You take Elder Gargroth. And then we have to discard. What did they... Did they just not take anything? Oh, they couldn't take anything, actually. That's fascinating. Um, well, now they have two names. I've made so many mistakes. Mutate's actually a fairly complicated mechanic. No joke. Huh. They're at four. We can actually just kill this, right? Like, we can actually get back one, two, three, one, two. But then we have to discard this, which is pretty bad. I'm just going to put it on a wolf. Um... Under's probably better in this specific situation. 
Oh, it's ten or less, right? So, oh god. Sure. Wait, what? Why didn't I hate this client so much, dude? I hate it. I hate it so much. It's so like unnecessarily complicated in so many different ways. All right. Well, could bring the heartless act. Mm. There's just so many little things from like is Pocket Chat only available on Twitch? Um, I'm pretty sure it is. I actually don't know. I haven't used it in ages. I got the gear. Um, I think it's you have to switch to non-mod settings, then it says pop out. It's really weird that it's under non-mod settings. Oh my god, Curl will raid after this. Just take it easy. Take it easy. Um, Necromentia. I don't know why it would be under non-mod settings, but that's the way it is. Go wrong with the two lander, right, guys? I feel like you just like you're just um, like handicapping yourself by not playing Yorion. Does that make sense? Like, I'm pretty sure that Wolf Howl is stolen straight from a Kavinsky track. Specifically, Night Call. Let's see. Thank you. That sounds exactly the same. That song is in Drive Movie. Give me a land. Oh, thank you. Hey, Saru, thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Auto pay. Can we just hope to smash face with these two guys and just win that way? That would be ideal. Okay. A land, perhaps? You don't want you don't get too greedy. Don't ask for too much. Okay, okay. three cards it's not it's not great not not unbeatable god I'm so food rich what just it, they're the same thing. So where's my six years subscription badge? I don't even think that's a. I don't even think that's an option. Also, it's got to be more than six, right? You're like almost seven.
Yeah, you're like six in ten months, right? Am I doing math correctly? It's twelve times twelve times six is seventy, right? Seventy two. So, uh, yeah. So six years, eight months. You'll come in four months. Seven years, dude. That's insane. That's insane. How's the fam doing, buddy? Tell Nicole and Mia that I miss them. Seven years. That's like 2013. It's exactly 2013. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you know, I do well. I do well for myself. What can I say? I try to take care of myself, you know. Okay. Seven years ago, I just began my tour as a sandwich miner. Super, have you been working? Have you been a sandwich miner for seven years? I've been a sandwich miner for a heart of gold, and he's getting old. Uh, enter tapped. Right, we can't do anything. So. Did I get to look at our hand? Oh man, non-creature, non-land. Okay, so they can take anything they want. Man, Superfruit's getting wild with the, the sandwich mining. Took Balagud recovery. That's how they're gonna get rid of Quest and Beast. Man, you know what? Exiling my graveyard's pretty good in my hand as Aerial Ultimatum. Can't argue with that, dude. Good gravy. I've been to Hollywood. With Eerie made him in hand, and one, two, three, four, five, six mana, I'm almost tempted to just kill Elspeth's Nightmare. Four? Jeez. Salami drills. God, that's wild. I'm mean, really get Questing Beast and Gilded Goose back, I guess. I'll just have a turn. You got it. Not the worst. Plus, if they kill this, we still get to your ultimate in them, so. Myth but Mythos of Nethor is basically like a. Uh, it's like Maelstrom Pulse, unless you just cast it for black, and then it's just a removal spell. A creature removal spell. Um, sure. Can't do anything about that. You're at three? Man. Probably gonna kill Glass Casket here to get back our 2-2. Two -two. Oh, I like that. So 
So we got black, we got green, green, black, white. Probably gonna say other black here. Uh, let's do over. Okay, I like it. Are they gonna make a food and crack the food? They're just gonna take, they're just gonna die. Okay. Well, this guy actually seems better and better. Um, give me one Garrick can come out. <laughs> no, Mr. Powers, I expect you to die. Um, yeah, that seems fine. Nice. Solid hand. I'm going to head out. It's 2.20, but it was... Yoka, man. I'm so glad you stopped in, dude. Don't be a stranger, buddy. You know how to you know how to find me. It was so good to see you, my dude. I will not keep seven. I will mulliganos and keep six. Guys, the goose is loose. You take care of yourself as well. Tell the family. Don't forget to t give the family my love. I submit to you, one Gargaroth. I've got a cobra with a heart of gold. And I'm getting old. Odd, uh, no blocks. This fly. It looks like it flies because she's hovering in the air, and it also reminds me of Kite Sail Freebooter. So both of those. I hate this card so much. Yep. Cool beans. Oh, Doom Foretold. Never change. So sad. Is there Gilded Goose Doom Foretold Synergy? I guess you can sack the goose. It's hard to tell. You don't say Kappa 
got them in the internet. Who's to say, you know? I was like, what card is this? What triumph is this? And I'm like, Indatha Triumph, huh? And I'm like, oh wait, that's the same one I have, except yours is the terrible art and mine is the banging art. Playing a deck with main deck Elspeth's Nightmare makes Biolante significantly worse, but you know, you do what you can. Oh, I hit him with a Michael B. Hit him. There it is. <laughs> oh, God. Yep, so long, Graveyard. That Yorion in your hand. There you go. Good job. Hey, good job to me, too. I'm a land drawn man. I'm sorry, you're letting me block? I'm not sure I understand that strategy, but all right. I assume you're gonna wipe the board. But again, I don't understand the attack. Okay. Weird flex, but all right. This is an annoying combination. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Goose, goose, trial. It's next time they play this, they blink it, and they got nothing to really take advantage of it with, though. Get busy honking. I am goose rich. I'll pass. I'll no block. Take two. That's a good card. That that card I'm a fan of. Is any deck, any mid-range deck with blue or white just better with Yorion? That's the question. And they didn't play Yorion? One, two, three, four, five, six. Too black, huh? Yeah, we got that. Mutate. Oh, yeah. Put it on that goose. Put it on the top of the goose.
feel like our board's pretty good, all things considered. Must be nice. Getting rid of that guy. Okay. And they're both very good. Huh. So we, do, so we can do everything, right? I kind of just want to put them to five and Hagra mauling this. I don't care about Yorion as much. I mean, Yorion's gonna blink Elspeth Conqueror's death, which is gonna kill this. So I mean, it sucks, but what's what can we what can you do about that? You can't kill on a stack and then have it live so they I mean like they literally had to draw Elspeth Conqueror's death in like two cards and they did so <sighs> what can you do yep get to blink Maze Mind Tone get to blink Elspeth seems good we still got Lotus Cobra. I think both Biolantes are gone as well, unfortunately. Maybe not. Maybe there's one more. Oh, well. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good draw. Oh yeah, so good. Yep, don't care about that. Glad we're not drawing it. And I wish I had a way to just shoot them in the face. That would be great. Where's a way to deal five damage? Is this game one? Is this our first match with the deck? Or our second match with the deck? It feels like our first match with the deck. No blocks. We're gonna draw your ultimatum. You ready? It's really annoying. Let me guess, Blink Yorion. Huh? Oh, they're just gaining three. That's fascinating. <laughs> it's, it doesn't do anything. Man, can you imagine a game where they didn't exile our graveyard? You don't have trample. What is the grind fest, man? What do you even get back? Charming Prince? Or Aqua's. Yeah, it's gotta be like Charming Prince, which is like. 
pretty unimpressive in terms of Just gain three more? Sure. Whew. Treacherous Blessing, also a good one. I think we're just not super heavy on card draw. Yeah, that's a big boy. This guy flies, though. That's pretty cool, right? That's interesting. Indestructible, simply indestructible. He's no fun, there's no telling when the. You guys know that song? It's called Simply Irresistible. So this is 13 damage? I'm just gonna take it. I'll go to six. I have six life here. I feel like they're gonna shatter, which means we get to draw a card and we get to keep five five. Nice. Mm, seems good. Okie dokie. I'm just gonna concede here. That's fucking annoying. <laughs> Did you have fun in the match? <laughs> no. No, I didn't. What? That's wild. All right, let's make some changes. Let's put a Yorion in the sideboard. How about that? Well, and by sideboard, I mean in my companion slot. Okay, I think we just need more temples. Like, they're basically just necessary evils in this format. I think that's what Super Fritz said, and I think it's correct. What else do we want? Maze Mind. I like that a lot. I do like Doom Foretold. <laughs> Doomy. Okay, well... I'm gonna go watch the Mandalorian episode and pass out. Buddy, Tsunami, have a good night, buddy. So what is this? Three Dooms, three Maze Mines. Two Ugans. I 
Uh, I have not watched the new episode yet, no. So no spoilers, bros. But I had two temples. I had one basic here. Need more things to blink. Elish Visionary is good to blink. Goose is fine. Problems like the omens are poop. I don't like the white or the green omen that much. But there's something good. We'll find it. I ain't scared. Oh, Treacherous Blessing. Yeah. That's nice. Man, look how many skeletal archers I have. Skeleton archer. It's not even skeletal. It's skeleton archer. It's literally a skeleton archer. Massacre Worm is interesting. Nylia. What the shit's a Nylia? Trail of breadcrumbs could be fine here, like two of. Boros Reckoner. Uh, we are not playing any Agademes. Scoot Swarm. Remember Scoot Swarm in our, our unlimited deck the other day? That was pretty sweet. You guys remember? Wicked Wolf is kind of okay. I wish he brought his own food, though. I kind of like one Kogla. Kind of like Great Henge, too. So how many lands we should have? We had 25. And we decided on adding 8. Because if you're adding 20, 8 and 12 is the correct distribution. So 25 would be 33. And we have 6 non-lands, right? The 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six for Hagras. Where are the Hagras? Where are my Hagras at? There they are. So it should be 33 minus 6, so 27. So we should have 27 physical land cards. We need five more. So this we're actually kind of at our limit here.
Ain't no hogger back girl. God. You're the hero we need sometimes. Oh, I like it one Yasharn. Let's add another planes. Oh my god, really? I, f I hate it so much. I hate it so much that it resets when you do that. How hard is it to, like, keep your position and then add, like, a back to the beginning button? Like, how hard is it? It seems like it's really easy. Okay, one Yasharn. Three, seven, so we have seven basics. Things that get basis are Yasharn, and that's pretty much it. So we can probably play like two Fabled Passage here. Is Solomon Simi Lagrim legal in standard? Well, that's pretty interesting. Why is anyone playing that card? That's pretty wild. Because it's not very good. Ooh. I don't believe you. Okay, so we need to cut like one thing, right? Everyone is playing that card? Get out of here, get out of town. Okay, Fabled. Two of those guys. So now our lands should be up to 25 plus 6. We actually need two more lands. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we need two more lands. We also need two cuts. I think I might just play two more temples. One more temple. And one more temple, sure. Okay, so now we're up to 27 lands plus 3, 33 lands, 4 goose, 4 cobra. But now we need 2 cuts. So what could they be now? What could they be? Maybe 1 treacherous blessing? I just haven't seen a Solemn Simulacrum in ages. I'll take out one Treacherous Blessing. We don't have a ton of ways to like get rid of it. And we'll take out one Eerie Ultimatum. Okay, let's give it give it another go. Okay, I'll keep that because it's a green. That's good. Turn two Cobra into turn three Maze Mind Tome activate seems very good. Actually, I don't think we can do that. Turn three. Yes, we can, because we'll have four lands, right? Yeah, four mana. I'm 100% sure that, that Wolf Howl is the same Wolf Howl. It's like they just took the Kavinsky Wolf Howl. I, not to say that that's the origin of the Wolf Howl by any means, but I don't know where it came from, but it's the same exact one. I guarantee it. You're going to love the way you look. I guarantee it.
what they do. They looked at my hand and got rid of my gag my gag off. So we can play this guy. Land is gonna give us three, that's four. Live a month in a love night. Wolves Warehouse, you're gonna love the way you howl. <laughs> I don't wanna to talk to you anymore. I don't want to, I think our friendship needs to be put on hiatus right now. Oh my god. I'm gonna take the MTG Arena Wolf and I'm gonna take the Kavinsky Nightcall Wolf and I'm gonna put them on top of each other and see if they're the same. Meyer Triton. You lying. I don't know. You right. I can't quit you, Super Fritz. That dude's in the trash can? Okay. I literally don't even use this if I can't. If I can't, uh, you know, if I can't draw a card, I just don't even use it. Oh. Do I have mana for that? What is this? One, two, three, four, five. We're literally one mana shy of casting Garrick here. That's pretty funny. Green, black. So one, two, three, four, five. Dang. <laughs> two red, XL, eight other cards. You're not even close to that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this seems fine. I can't even see how many cards they have because this card back is so dark. I feel like that's the worst card for us anyway. Like this guy, we can blink with the Yorion that we just got into our hand. This guy always provides us mana. This guy only provides us mana with a land. This guy has one toughness. This guy has two toughness. I think by most metrics, this is the worst creature to block here. This Kavinsky Nightcall track on YouTube has a has 209 million views. That's insane. That's a lot, man. I bet none of you guys have 200 million views or listens. No one's ever listened to you 200 million times. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be cruel, but it's just the truth. Wolves, I'm still laughing at Wolves Warehouse. Oh God. Each player discards a card. What does she go to? She goes to five, huh? What's better? Garrick's gotta be better, right? Hmm. So I can deal her four, is what you're saying to me right now? Or I can play Blessing, draw three, then draw two. I have two Mary Lester's on my drive <laughs> speaker. Maybe that's... That's still high. I think that's still high. Even if you had... A million listens a year you'd still be so far off I think it's actually blessing here it feels weird but three cards is a lot oh I see Over. We did it, boys. Put that Liliana in the trash can. We're gonna keep Blight, Blight Climb Pathway in hand. 
Null Priest getting back Yorion seems pretty juicy. I'm actually liking where this deck is looking right now. This is... This has got a lot of... I feel like we got a lot of play. I feel like Treacherous Blessing was a great addition because drawing three is just real good. Admittedly, is this only... Oh, it's an opponent controls. We can't even Anguirus our own Treacherous. Why can't we Anguirus our Treacherous? Pass. My turn? What do we got in here? Elder Gargaroth. Live among the people of the night. Scooby doo 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 doos. I think we're just playing this guy <laughs> and getting Gargaroth. Or we can just play Garrick. God, this is so hard. I'm going to play this guy into Gargi. Gargrano. Oh, or it's Yorion. What does Yorion do? Blink, blink. Yeah, it's Yorion. Blink you. Uh, blink Maze Mind Tome. Can we go full control? Blink this. Oh, I guess full control doesn't matter. I'm actually going to play the land now because we're probably going to draw something. Considering we're drawing like four cards. Um, black. End the, end the turn. Discard deck seems worse when we're drawing like a million cards. My most viewed video has 11k views. All my other videos are less than 75 views. Such is the way. Such is the way of YouTube, buddy. You ain't kidding. I might actually scry now. You got it. I will submit a temple of plenty. And he did. Definitely keeping that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's fine. The bottom you. And the turn. Feels like we're in good shape. You got it. What is in your hand? These three are not in your hand. This one card is in your hand, and these two guys are in on an adventure. <laughs> okay. Well, that's unfortunate. And concede. No concede. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, oh. But that would be lethal. You could go, ugin, ugin. yeah, where it's already lethal. world I want to live in. Okay, so they got a, let's worst scavenging uses. Uh gonna be MVP here. Take out one mythos. Uh Angurious doesn't seem great here. We're gonna bring in three scavenging uses. Agonizing remorse also seems pretty good. Take out a Kogla and bring in remorse. <laughs> oh man.
I want the other agonizing remorse in there, but I don't know what to cut for it. Probably one maze mind tome. That seems fine. <laughs> Kermit just sent me a message. He's like, they just restocked my favorite candle. And then I laughed and he's like, I bought two. Kermit has a housewarming gift. He actually got us like a sweet, a pretty sweet candle. And uh, we were like, wow, this is really nice. And Katie was like, I like this candle. I'm going to go look it up and see... Uh, if I can get another one so that when this one runs out, we have it. <laughs> and she was like blown away by the price of the candle. Um, because it turns out it was a pretty pricey candle. And uh, <laughs> that's my Kerwick candle story. Interesting. I'll keep this. I mean, we've got lots of lands. You can tell the candle's expensive because it says bougie right on it. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. So what you got? You got Amiri's Call and Elder Gargaroth, huh? foretold, right? It was doom foretold. What a little what a little rascal. Eh, that guy's actually fine. Oh, they're gonna get it though. Oh no, we should have put it on the bottom. Oh yeah, woodwick candles are legit. Me and Katie love some woodwick candles. Guys, they smell like... Oh, they crackle. That's that's what I meant. <laughs> I was like, you know, they smell like whatever they are, but... Well, that's really sad if we just give them an Elvish Visionary that they get to cast. Oh god, I feel so stupid. So stupid. Guys, I hope we're ready on this. 67 units... It's not terrible. Kerwood doesn't believe in candles that cost less than 40 bucks. <laughs> hmm. Well, we have some removal, so I think we're just playing this as a land. Next turn, playing Gargaroth. Oh, I should have not let them attack because that's. Oh god, I really don't have. Oh boy. Hmm. Well, not ideal. Yep, that was a mistake. Yep, that was stupid. We're misplaying. I'm not not thrilled about it. Vomit. Let's get a planes here. 
So we can go Heartless Act first. And then we'll refill. All I had to do was not give them a card. How hard was that? Not hard. I just don't care about that at all, though. One, two, three, four, six mana, so we can... We got an, a Gargaroth in our graveyard? And if we get a Questing Beast in the graveyard, we can buy a Lante into something? That seems good, right? I'll just keep that on top. I, it doesn't really matter at this point. Don't kill my Gargaroth. Oh, he's dead. Dang. Okay, Biolante next turn seems pretty good. We get a Gargaroth. And presumably another Questing Beast because we'll put the Biolante on top if he survives. Just let him survive. Damn it! It's so annoying. Yeah, we'll just let him let him attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're at we're at five. We're at three right now, right? Not ideal. Hmm. 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 Three, four, five, six, seven. Yikes. One, two, three, four, five. This guy. Go to two. Yeah, doesn't matter. I mean, you are on to significantly less than the life linker when we're at two life. Oh shit, I didn't even notice we were playing against Busted Nuts. That's... <laughs> that's something alright. Busted makes him feel good! Two lands, huh? I'll keep it because we have turn one, turn two goose into temple, which could find us another land. Treacherous blessing. Like, we have a bunch of good plays here. Bustin, bustin, bustin. You're not a you're not a land technically. Can 
Kill my goose. One, two, three, we have five cards. They have, yeah, no blocks. Oh boy. Mistakes were made. Should've just kept it. The greed was, was too real. You got it. That's solid. Land? Oh, wow. What a perfect storm. Beautiful. What did they, what happened? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, five. What did they take? Is it lands? Oh, there are two lands, okay. Um. Yeah, no blocks. I just wanted to play Polychronos next turn. Okay. Um, get rid of Treacherous Blessing. I don't really see a situation where I want to be No attacks. Well, I guess you got Murderous Rider. Four cards, one, two, yeah, okay. I'll murder your rider. It's not. Mm -mm. I do not think it means. What do you think it means? Okay. Play your land. Okay, this is actually fine. I just want to draw a green source that comes into play untapped so I can start eating their graveyard to scavenging ooze because that feels beneficial. Oh, are we just going to pass? <gasps> Do we get a free turn? Oh, yes. Excellent. Choose attackers. I still don't feel like we're in great shape for attacking. And now they have two cards in hand, which is just fine. Okay. Well, I'm going to eat a lot of those. I'm going to be, be honest with you guys. Could we have played Henge first? Henge is three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we could have eaten one thing instead. Yeah, that would have been better. I was just so excited about getting this down, so... You'll forgive me for... Oh, wow. Those are gonna be delicious. Oh, yeah. We're gonna eat some Croxes here, boy. Oh, fuck. Now I feel so stupid. Oh, God. That's terrible. That's the, that's the saddest thing I've ever experienced. Still no attacks, like, I just don't feel like it's... Yep. 
Okay, don't care about any of those. Well, you get to scry three and gain three. That's tough. God. We could have Great Henge out right now. I don't think they can actually win if we have Great Henge and, and Scavenging Goose gaining two life a turn and, like, drawing a card from Yorion and Null Pro. Oh, wow. I'm so mad at myself right now. They have one card? Yeah, I feel like we're actually in great shape here. Yorion next turn gets to Blink Visionary and Goose. Um, do you just attack with this and they triple block it? That seems fine. One. Just the one. Okay. Blink, 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 blink. Yeah, Yorion's pretty good, guys. I feel like it's just like you're just disadvantaging yourself by not just putting Yorion in your decks. <laughs> Kurwitz said, do you think the Yeezy 380 was supposed to be the new 350? I think I think if I were Yeezy, I would want every I would want every future shoe to be the 350. But I also think it's very, very difficult to replicate the 350's success because I think the 350 is just a great shoe. Discard a card. I'm actually going to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Yeah, I'm just going to discard Ooze because then we can... Uh, play Null Priest, get back Ooze, and then Aether Croxa. God, Null Priest is super sweet. Okay. <laughs> oh, got him. 350v1 or 350v2? Um, I'd have to see them side by side. 350v1 versus v2. I mean, I'm I'm usually a fan of more modern shoes, and it looks like the V2. Yeah, I like the I like the silhouette of the V2 a lot better. Um, it has more of like a, a wider silhouette. It bows out a little more in the front. Plus, I bet the boost is better too. So, this deck was sweet. I mean, it is now. I think it's great now. I think that's pretty common. I think a lot of people think things are worse until they get used to them, and then those things become the new standard. What if I don't like Biolante, even though he's, like, one of my jams? What if I want to play, like... Nighthawk Scavenger? What if I want to play one of these dudes in the deck? Hmm. This is another dude I can Biolante onto. Biolante, if you will. Okay. Is there anything that hasn't been impressive? Great Henge is real good. I just like the variety. Null Priest has been great in the deck.
All right, let's try it like this. We'll play one more match with it. Why does it have to be black? I'm really, I'm contemplating whether to stream Spider-Man on PS5. Because it could be long. It's probably going to be long. And I know either Mike and or Katie will want to play it with me. So it's like, they would have to commit to like being on the stream and like streaming with me when we play it. So it's kind of tricky. This guy. Are you just going to shock this guy? No, you're not. You're just going to go to your turn and stomp him. Give him a good old fashioned stomp. You're just going to hard cast a Rimrock Knight. Hmm. So if I play this guy, okay, if I play this, we have one, two, three, four mana. I can't do anything with that. If I play this guy into this, we have three mana. But we'd have to take three damage just to put Yorion into our hand, which doesn't seem great. Could just play Cobra into Temple. It's like the best we can do. I'm going to keep that guy on top for sure. That guy seems great. I really hate wasting this two mana, but what can you do? Kerwin, have a good night, buddy. I'll talk to you tomorrow, I'm sure. Okay, that's a lot of guys. So three, four, five, this is seven. Oh, you're not attacking with the Rimrock Knight? Okay, I'll just take four. What does this deck do against Elder Gargaroth? So one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. I think it's just Elder Gargaroth. Next turn, we can play Yashar and get two lands. Play one, add three. Put Yorion into our hand. I'm just going to attack with one. I don't feel like having Rimrock Knight come in my face. That guy's good. Not good enough, though. Um, hmm. I mean, they get triple block and trade, but then I get to eat three of their guys, so. I kind of want to draw a card because it lets us play Garrick if we hit a land naturally, and I don't think we need the life quite yet. Unfortunately, it was just Biolante. Oh, they just get to play these two and block. Oops. That's fucking terrible. I don't know how this game works, apparently. Wow, that was bad. That was incredible. Wow, that was so bad. Pretty sure we're actually just dead here. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Actually, this could be fine. Oh, they just have Embercleave, so we're actually straight dead. Sure. Never don't have Embercleave. Play your stupid fucking Embercleave. Cool. Yep. <laughs> yep. 
Congratulations. Mindless red decks. Always have a good time. Okay. Well, now we can take out one Eerie, one Ugin. Two of these guys. Take out Treacherous. Yeah, seems fine. It's, I, I wouldn't have a great sideboard against the red deck, but... Man, that stupid fucking Elder Gargaroth attack was such a boneheaded move. They have first strike. Because of course they do. Of course a zero land hand is good. This hand's good, though. It's five lands. Keep six. Put the blessing back. Hmm. Oh, I kind of just want to play that as a two drop. And the next time we can play Mirror's Call, take three, but then we can play Visionary off of it, which is pretty fine. shock this guy too they didn't they didn't shock this guy too oh man that's actually pretty sweet you just get to kill this guy Lotus Cover we can play for two. We have one, two, three, four mana. We can keep up mauling. One, two, three mana, actually. This guy doesn't have Vigilance, right? That would be sweet. Yeah, I don't think Cover does anything for us at this juncture. This guy also taps for mana, so. If we really need the mana for five, like Gargaroth. Uh, it was not auto tap, or we just don't have a second. We didn't. We don't have a second uh, green source, so. That's not bad. Hmm. Yeah, just playing an actual land has got to be better than playing a spell. No attack. Do you have vigilance? I don't understand. Yeah, extinction event for three would or for for odds would be amazing here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to take six, then we're just going to play Yorion next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we have eight mana. Still have eight mana.
Okay, I like it. Yep, here we go. <sighs> Jesus. So you put it on here, it's a five. You can't kill both. We're just assuming, obviously, he has the friggin' Elder Ember Cleave. Because they always do. It was a 5 4. They go 4 and 1. This guy survives, doesn't do anything. Sure. Blow me out. Oh. Not as bad as I was expecting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One card in hand. Hmm, it's risky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven. We can play Yorion. Uh, I am worried about the stupid birds, but I don't think the graveyards are super full, and we can just take three here. Treacherous Blessing seems a little risky at this juncture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I almost like. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we don't have enough. This is gonna be nine. One, two. Th this is three, and then I'm at six, right? So. Um, let's just questing beast and keep up hog remalling, I think. fine. Took three. You got it. Put your bird in the garbage can. It's not a good bird. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We put you to four, and we have no real way to close it out, but it doesn't matter when they just concede. Bring in the other ooze for a treacherous blessing, actually. Yeah, I think Elspeth's Nightmare and uh, Extinction Event are two cards that we definitely have to uh, add.
keep. I want to bottom this because I feel like we have three turns to hit more lands when we have three lands in hand, so. Guy's gonna be good. Sure. You made my guy a fucking coward? You made him a coward? Doom foretold they sacrifice this guy probably. They get a 1 1. Two, three, four, five, six mana, huh? Not ideal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're done here, right? Uh, are these warriors? Nope, just satyrs. You're a dwarf noble speaking to block. You're blocking. You take five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're just dead. And you have Castle and Breath, so. I mean, we can play Pelucranos, we get one guy. Can't actually activate, so. 4 8, yep, cool. Red deck, super fun. Fucking mind, mindless, boneheaded deck ever. <laughs> like, it's just never fun in any format, but it's a, it's a cool part of magic that we always want to keep in the game, so. Anyway, we're going to make some final changes, and then we'll call it a day. So thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Extinction events. We'll take out one of these. Take out Necromancia. Uh, I'll spend some Nightmare. Probably a three of. I don't know if it's main deckable, but... Definitely a solid sideboard option, and we can get rid of the Necromenches in general. Yeah, this would probably be the final list that I went with, but uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, check out twitch.tv slash franklepoormanagerators.com. 15% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. NordVPN.org, you can get 68% off a two-year subscription and one month free. That's a great way to keep yourself protected on the internet. It's a great way to support the channel. And, uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.